For today's watch review, we're taking a first look at the brand new Casio AE1500. This is coming to you straight from the Casio warehouse in Newark, New Jersey, and I'm very excited to take a look at it. So let's get started. Starting off with price, MSRP on this one is $27. So hopefully that means we'll see it for cheaper, but already at MSRP prices, that's a fantastic value. For dimensions, starting off across the case, we are looking at case width of just under 50 millimeters, and then a case thickness of right around 15 and a half millimeters. And then lug to lug, from what I can tell, right at 55 and a half millimeters lug to lug. For weight, this is going to come in at a very practical 58 grams or two ounces. Excellent for everyday wear. Here is the AE1500 on my seven and a half inch wrist. And also for comparison, here is the G-Shock Square on my wrist, just so you can compare the two. Going over some functions and features, starting off with the main display. Right here at the top, we've got calendar data, and right underneath there, main time, and then seconds. And then right here on the right-hand side of the dial, we've got a very cool 10-second animation. I really like how they did everything here. It's not too cluttered, very open, very easy to read numbers here, so great job on that. Now going over the different modes, we've got alarm, Timer, stopwatch, dual time, and then back to main time. And if you hit the start button right here, you can shift between 12 hour to 24 hour format. Also, if you look at the top right pusher, you can see we've got a light button, and that gives you that beautiful amber glow that is very common on all of the other Casio AE models. This is so practical, it's not too bright, but it's just bright enough for you to see everything clearly and that amber glow will not burn out your night vision. So this is very practical for all different types of people in all different fields of work. For the crystal, we've got a resin crystal. Uh, at this price range, I am not expecting anything more than a resin crystal. As you can see, I've been having some issues with the reflective qualities of it. Um, it's not like that in real life. It's really only when you're trying to film it. Other than that, you can see very clearly and I have no complaints. And here is the case back and that is just to show you the water resistance, which is 10 bar or 100 meters. So very standard, no complaints there either. And we've got Casio's world famous 10 year battery. So in this case, I'm okay that it's not solar because solar watches really last for about 10 years anyways. And in this case, once the battery's dead, you don't have to worry about getting any fancy solar components. It's just a regular watch battery. So very easy to replace and it'll last you a long time. Probably even longer than however long you're interested in the watch. We've got a resin band here. I think it's done just fine. Uh, very comfortable, not too sticky and extremely comfortable. For the buckle, we've got a plastic buckle which I think actually fits the overall theme. You know, it's a budget-friendly, practical watch, so you're gonna have um, components here that probably aren't of the highest quality, but they still get the job done. Now just going over my initial thoughts and my first impressions. So, so far I'm very impressed, especially with that crisp negative display. I don't know if that's coming through clear to you guys, but in real life, with the naked eye, this thing is outstanding. It's so gratifying knowing that for less than $30, you get something that gives you almost a sci-fi-esque, futuristic style display here. I mean, it's almost unreal just how clean and clear those numbers are coming through. In 
even just practically, this watch meets all of the wickets for an everyday watch. I can't really recommend enough this style of watch because this is really what digital watches are all about. They're easy to read, they are affordable, and also very user friendly and does everything that you need from a watch. Really just to summarize it all, this watch in my opinion I think is going to be a bestseller. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. That display, again, is so fantastic. <laughs> it makes me so happy seeing a negative display this sharp. Because I think negative displays are one of those things that everybody thinks looks cool, but the reality of it is always a disappointment. Whereas in this case, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So by now, you probably can tell that I really like it, and I don't think my thoughts are gonna change. I do have another version. I've got the positive display on the way, which I actually thought was gonna come first, but um, for some reason, Casio shipped this one faster than the positive display version that I ordered off of Amazon. So you're getting to take a look at the negative display version first, which is actually the one that I was more excited for anyways, because positive displays are easy. Um, getting a good quality negative display like this is quite difficult to execute at this level. So great job on Casio. And that's all I got to say for now. Again, I'll put out another review of the same watch once the positive version comes. So stay tuned for that. And um, that's all I got to say for now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.